Hey people, it's Kendall. Welcome back to my channel. We're now doing things the K-Big way. It has been a while since I've uploaded a video and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really going to try to commit to at least one per week. I can't even say that I've been busy because, you know, you make time for the things that you care about. And it just hasn't been a priority. But I am going to make a priority. I'm going to do my best. So, today I'm going to talk about... <laughs> And it's crazy because this was like a year ago, just about, but I quit my job. I was like, you know, at the time I felt like y'all doing me dirty, like I don't deserve this and God has bigger and better things for me. So I holla at y'all. <laughs> it's, it's been real. Um, I holla at y'all. I'll see y'all on the flip side and I'm going to be out. I'm going I'm to hit an eye. I'm going to hit an eye. This is also really important to me because, um... Like, I feel like in transitions, especially when I was in college and just got out of college, I did a lot of videos, like, just sharing my personal, um, you know, struggles and trials and tribulations, things that I was going through between, like, being a single mother and trying to find a job and then, you know, just, just a lot of different things in my life. So, this was, like, if you go back to some of the old videos where I was, like, really struggling with that post-college transition is probably the best word there were some videos of me like just you know i don't even want to say complaining but just going through the motions so anyways october of 2017 i finally got a job in corporate america in merchandising i was so excited so happy worked for a fortune 500 company in charlotte north carolina and it was really good it was really good for like a few months so like i was happy it was a job that I had been trying to get for like a year before I had been interviewing. I think that was my fourth, third or fourth interview with the same company. And they finally decided to like call me in and ask me if I wanted to interview for the role that I had been interviewing for. So I was just like over the moon, you know, like I was making the amount of money, this, the exact amount of money that, that I said I wanted to make and that I like prayed for. So I was excited. Um, so yeah, the job was going well for like the first few months and then the company, child, ain't gonna need to um, sugarcoat it, I worked at Family Dollar. So then the, like the company started to like go downhill. Dollar Tree owns Family Dollar, so basically the decision that was made was that Dollar Tree was going to move a lot of the HQ employees up to their headquarters in Chesapeake, Virginia. Mind you, we lived in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I was like, I mean, it would be closer to family, but I ain't really trying to move to Chesapeake, Virginia. The package that they offered me, like, wasn't that great. And I guess I could have, like, stayed and been promoted since people were leaving the company and, like, jumping ship um, because they felt like they didn't know the future of the company, all this other stuff. And that was a really hard time period for me because I just was like, here I am down in Charlotte by myself, no family. I'm a single mother. You know, like I'm making decent money, but it's, you know, not a lot. I'm gonna have to like try to find a new job that's close near here, you know, and my son was in daycare. So that was a pain in the butt, like paying all that money, like $200 a week, pretty much. He had just started kindergarten and I was like, I don't want to have to move somewhere and like, you know, change schools for him it was just a lot i was under like a lot of pressure and a lot of stress i was like crying and then i remember my mother called me one time like you know like it it's okay to like feel your feelings and yeah you're going through this situation where you're probably gonna have to find a new job or make a decision to move with this company but like girl do you know the god that you serve like like just relax like everything's gonna be okay so then like a lot of well i decided to like update my linkedin profile to like looking for jobs which at the time it was like the recruiters what do you expect when you tell people that they either have a choice to move with this company or some people didn't even get an offer so i was grateful that i was extended the offer to move but at the time the role that i have had was an hourly role and i just didn't feel like well yeah i didn't feel like and also we were not given the same opportunities as the people who were salaried all besides the point well no not really besides the point because it added to how i felt as um you know just as an employee for the company so i i didn't really like the position that i was put in 
So I started looking for new jobs and child, I was like applying. Other people were getting jobs, like talking about all their interviews and I just was like so worried, like what am I going to do? So one day I um, like looked in my LinkedIn profile messages and I had a message from a lady who worked for the best retailer there is. And I was like, oh my goodness, like, you know how a lot of times you will, well, I don't know if you, like, have ever been job searching before, but you will get, like, recruiters that are, like, send you messages and it'll be for a job, like, doing the cable in Walmart, which at one point in time, I didn't mind doing, but at this point in my life, I'm like, I can't be in Walmart, like, selling cable, like, I, I can't, I can't have that type of job, like, I need something steady, like a steady paycheck. So the lady sent me this role and I looked at her LinkedIn profile and for some reason I thought it was like spam, I thought it was fake and she was like hey I heard about you know all the things going on with the company, I'm reaching out because your your LinkedIn profile looks like it might match this particular role. Um, So again I'm thinking like no way, like no way does this company like want me to work for them. I was just like so like on one side I was like so busy and like so worried that I couldn't even like be happy about the opportunity to like interview with this company so I just was like yeah sure whatever I have nothing to lose yeah I'll interview with you so I had a phone interview with the lady the initial like phone screen and that went really well I think I must have did it like on my lunch break and then she was like yeah we want to like push you to the next phase or the next round is with this guy here's what you need to do to prepare so I'm still thinking like, you know, this, I'm just going through the motions. Like, again, I don't have nothing to lose. So I do the next interview and I felt like I bombed it. I remember, I think it was on a Friday afternoon. I must have like left work early or did it on my lunch break again. I was like, oh man, like, I'm not going to get the job. But then they reached out to me again and was like, he thought you did well. Like, we, we want to fly you out. Mind you. This is in the Midwest. Now, I had interviewed in Chicago at one point for another job, but I never saw myself like living in the Midwest. I didn't know anything about Minnesota. They were like, we want you to come out, yada, yada, yada. And I'm just like, wow, like who's going to keep miles? What am I going to do? I wasn't even thinking about if I get the job, but like, I'm just thinking like, how am I going to get to this interview? So my sister said that she would keep miles for the weekend. And I was like, God, like, <laughs> Everything is just working out in my favor. Like, it's crazy how this opportunity just dropped in my lap. Mind you, I never applied for the job. They reached out to me. So, I remember it was another lunch lunch break. I didn't tell nobody at the company. I didn't even tell any of my family members. I didn't even tell my mother. The only person that knew that I was going to come into Minnesota to interview for the role that I'm in now was my sister. And that was because she was keeping miles. Because I just was like, I don't want to, like, not that I could have jinxed it anyway because what's for you is going to be for you, period. But I just was like, you know, let me just like stay focused and like get this done. I remember I went to H&M, child, I got the baddest blue suit. I had a blue button down. I remember I was just like, what am I going to do with my hair? Let me do some curls and be my authentic self. I packed my bags. I remember I met my sister with Miles. I went to the airport. I was ready. Some things tried to go wrong with my flight. Like... The people that they got to like book my flight, something was happening where I got to the gate, they didn't have my ticket. I was like, if it's for me, it's going to be for me and I'm going to be on that flight, I'm going to be in that whole time, be preparing, I'm going to be ready for this job opportunity. So I get to Minnesota to interview and I was like kind of nervous, but I had like prepared so hard for this. I had a, like a little notebook, not a notebook, but like I had printed off like, um, I don't even know what they're called, like booklets. I took them to FedEx. I got them like binded. They had the little laminate on the top. I wrote cover letters for each each individual person. I ended up with like four people. I think I wrote cover letters for each of them. Thank you notes for each of them. I put them all in the binder. I had my star um, questions in there. I was like prepared. I was like, 
I'm getting this job. I ain't nothing gonna be able to stop me from getting this job. And if the only thing that's gonna be be able to stop me from getting the job is the fact that it wasn't for me. It's not gonna be because I didn't show up. It's not gonna be because I didn't prepare. It's not gonna be because I didn't dress the part, look the part, smile, like my personality, everything. I was ready. So my in-person interviews went well. I was connecting with say like one of them. I wasn't really sure because his. His personality was, we, we didn't really click personality wise, but the questions, I answered them to the best of my ability. Other two, I could tell like they was feeling me, they would want me on their team, they was they was feeling your girl because <laughs> how could you not, how could you not feel the girl? I finished the interview, um, I flew back out that day and I was just like so relieved, I just was like, if it's for me, it's going to be for me. So I went back home and I got miles, we met, went back to Charlotte. Um, and I went, I went back to work like everything was okay and I felt like, you know, she, they said they were going to reach out to me and I'm just like, if they're interested, then they're going to reach out, um, you know, because they don't want me to take somebody else's offer. So I think I got the call on Tuesday while I was at work, left my desk, went to a little enclave and, you know, the recruiter that I was working with was like, they loved you, like, we want to extend you an offer, here's your salary amount, child, let me tell amount I was like oh yeah oh god you mm -hmm. yeah you 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 be advocating for the girl like you want me to win child he had my back I was just like oh wow like this is how I deserve to be treated yes yes I was so happy I accepted the offer right there while I was on <laughs> while I was at my other job and it was, just, it was just such a good feeling. I just couldn't believe it. I told my mother, like, I told, like, the rest of my family, like, yeah, I'm moving to Minnesota. It was people that were just like, you know, like, why would you do that? You're moving all the way out there with miles by yourself. And I'm just like, yeah, but I live here by myself. And, again, it just goes back to the fact that when God has something for you, he's going to, like, lay out the path, make a way. It was for me, period. So, um, my manager, he ended up, he, I think he must have known that, like, something was going on because of the time that I took off, the time that I needed to leave, like, to head to the airport, and he just was like, he pulled me in the office, like, what's going on, like, you haven't been at your desk, like, you know, is everything, is everything okay, and I'm just like, I pretty much was just like, yeah, I'm, um, gonna be putting in my notice, <laughs> I'm gonna be putting in my notice and he's like, yeah, I got a job. And he asked me like where and I told him and he just, you can just tell that he was like so shocked. And I don't wanna say it's because he didn't like see, or maybe he didn't, didn't like see that potential in me um, to like be in the role that I'm in now. Because the role that I was in before, it was like an entry level job, like entry, entry level, like you needed a high school diploma. And I don't know, but he just was like, wow, like, okay, like, are they giving you this? Are they giving you that? I mean, of course, he, I know that he wanted me to stay, like, on his team and with the company, but there was no way, like, it, my time there was served, and I had a great, a great year there, it was a great experience, but it was definitely time to move on, so I typed up my two weeks notice that day, I told, when I started, like, telling people where I was going, everybody was, like, so shocked, and I just was like, God be having your girl. This girl right here, like, favor ain't fair. When I tell you favor ain't fair, it ain't. I'm sorry. I can't, I mean, I can't, I can't explain it to you. All I know is that I'm going to be out. Here's my two weeks notice. I'll be here for three more weeks. And then after that, I'm starting my new job. So, that's the story of the time, almost a year ago now, that I quit my job. And I moved all the way from... Charlotte, North Carolina to Minneapolis, Minnesota, child. It's about to be winter again, but I don't regret my decision at all. I'll have another video um, for you guys coming soon. More big news, like things are just going so well right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Comment down below and I will see you in the next video.